The Cisco Meraki MT-10 is a cloud-managed temperature and humidity sensor that is very simple to deploy, thanks to its integration with the Meraki dashboard and Bluetooth technology. Before installing the MT-10 on site, there are a few things we need to take care of. First thing we need to do is configure the network in the Meraki dashboard. First, log into dashboard.meraki.com. If this is your first time, you need to create a new account. Second, find the network to which you plan to add your sensor, or create a new network. Third, we're going to add the sensors to your network. You will need your Meraki order number found on your invoice, or the serial number on each sensor. Last, we need to add the gateway, MV or MR, to the same network as the sensor. If you are claiming multiple devices, you can scan their barcodes using the Meraki app. Finally, we are ready to mount the MT-10. The mounting location is important because we need to make sure that the working compatible gateway is in range of the sensor. Some examples of ideal mounting locations would be on a wall for ambient temperature and humidity readings, and inside a rack to monitor the rack temperature. For most mounting scenarios, the MT-10 has flexible options to provide quick and simple mounting. Start by removing the battery compartment cap and inserting two AA batteries into the compartment. In order to mount the sensor on different locations, there are three options. You can use screws, VHB tape, or a magnet. Once the mounting plate is on the desired surface, slide the MT-10 sensor into place and use the included Torx screw to secure the sensor. Once the device is mounted and added to a network with a compatible gateway, press the General Purpose button on the top of the sensor to wake it up and sync with the nearest gateway. If the light is solid green for three seconds, it is connected to a gateway and ready to go. If the light is solid amber for three seconds, the MT-10 could not find a gateway to connect to.